Hello and welcome. This is the SRAM X9 shifter. This is the free uh, speed side. Uh, I wanted to do something a little bit different as I've been working a lot, a lot on uh, Shimano parts and I'm not really familiar with SRAM shifters so I decided to work on this. The cable is uh, still inside and I actually want to get rid of that to help uh, to manage storing the part and I have no idea how or the only thing I could figure out is actually opening this up. It doesn't seem like um, be like Shimano parts. So we're going to crack on and open this up. So I'm going to uh, release if there is any uh, tension. I'm guessing this is going to be the same as uh, Shimano shifters. So we're going to remove the screw. I particularly like the quality of these shifters. They're quite nice. So we're going to lift up this cover. Spring inside this. That I'm going to take off. Pull. So I'm going to take that off. Okay, so it looks like I've solved the issue of how you remove the cable on this. You take off this pile. It would have been nice if they'd had an open, close kind of, uh, I don't know, Ryan on it to indicate that's the case. And then you take off the plastic cover. So there's some kind of a spring here. I'm gonna just take that off, put that to the side. So we're gonna remove that spring and that just kind of goes behind that corner part. So I've released that and it's just come off. Oh, got it. Okay, so that's come off and now we can remove uh, this part. I'm going to remove these uh, top screws to see. Uh... So I'm lifting up that cover. Okay, got it out. So this uh, other side of the spring was uh, kind of going to that hole here and it was like pushed in. So we'll take that off now. Here there's a uh, thin rivet that you take through so it's going from the top here to the other side here and that's probably holding this part it is so I just removed uh, this part here by flicking it out so it was uh, that end was in that hole here it ran underneath there slotting into those kind of uh, ridges and then it ran up onto the side here latching over on that side like this just a plier yeah you can all right great okay got that off and taking off the other one so we're going to take that off now and we'll remove that you can see that this wasn't really dirty and there's actually still grease inside it so I don't think there's a much need to reapply anything just simply uh, to show you how to disassemble and reassemble this shifter. So let's put it back together again I believe so the first part was the spring part metal that we've got there. I'm going to go ahead and put back this uh, metal plate so that metal plate goes on the top here with two holes. Check that that's still sliding up and down, it is. Okay, so let's put that spring back in. So that went into here and it went underneath the back of this. Right, got it in. It was not easy. So uh, this goes on the top just like this. So we're gonna put this uh, pivoting kind of bolt that holds the sprocket in place Make sure it goes nice and firmly down. Okay, that's inside. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to take this spring on one side, the interior part here, that tip, is gonna go into that hole on that blue part. So I'm gonna put that in for now. Fit this properly, there's like some kind of uh, holders that are situated around here. You wanna make sure that's underneath it. And uh, that 
the other part, this uh, square part, it goes kind of like underneath that black bolt that we installed earlier on and the other tip kind of just sits above the hole so you can see there it's like this and uh, here there's a, another that little spring goes behind this bolt so you'll see here that there's a tip and that tip goes into the that long hole so we're going to put that on the top in through it's going to sit comfortably now and so there's that hole right here and so what we're going to do is we're going to take that, that metal uh, kind of stick and we're going to push that right through and then after this uh, metal spring here is going to latch over that tip that we've just pushed through on this uh, lever and that eventually is pushing this part as you can see okay so now that we've done that we're going to work on the other side uh, we're going to take the lever now on the lever uh, on the interior you'll see just here at the back there's a hole so we're going to put the uh, part in this way there's a tiny spring be careful not to lose this as I've lost it twice today so that goes uh, behind this uh, that part there and the other side is going to latch onto here. So just to make sure you see, it's running along here and here. Next part, and this is where I'd been uh, messing up a little bit when I was um, putting this in. Uh, that part there, I'd been stupid enough to put it in uh, this part this uh, whole time. No, sorry, I was putting it in here, thinking uh, with that curved part there, I thought that was the right place. And I was thinking it was a bit weird because it was touching the other end of that spring. So what I decided to do is towards here where there's actually nothing in the way. We're going to put this plate back on top of here. So that's going to, as you can see there, those two hole parts. You want to push those kind of through. And same with the uh, kind of pull, uh, square part there, the pull. You want to put that into here. And that's actually pushing the sprocket behind uh, on this lever essentially changing the gear. That hole, we're gonna put the other end of that spring inside. And so when we're gonna put this in, we're going to tension everything up and eventually we're gonna you know, aim for that part to go slotting into here while we're tensioning through. Let's get that in. So now while holding everything down, we wanna make sure that spring goes into the right corner and we're going to now aim to get that in. I think we're going to tension the spring at the same time. So I'm going to put it in and then I'm going to, I'm actually going to tension this now. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to turn, it's going to, it's going to make the uh, lever turn as well. Make sure I think latches over. So I've, I've, I'm turning this and I'm going to now put it into the, uh, that part right there. Let's see if that's going to go in. Okay, I've definitely, it's definitely gone in. The best thing to do now is to um, tighten. Just put the bolt down, put it too tight, it's just meant to hold everything. So I'm gonna just tighten that down just so that everything holds in place. So I've left it loose enough to be able to put this uh, cover here on the side. What's really annoying is that um, there's the spring and the spaces inside. I'm sure this isn't the technique that you want to do, at least that's not the technique I'm sure that they employ at the factory when they're doing these things. But um, I couldn't figure out another way of doing this because when you put this the first time then after you have the, the trouble is uh, the spring after you can't place it in. Okay, I think I've got it on in the right place now. Okay, now I'll try it. Yeah, so it's working. Cool. No, wait. Yeah, this is it this thing that's getting stuck in the way seems weird it worked the first two times yeah it works okay great so let's put these uh, screws back on place I'd say that's there rather this sits on the top and we have that screw there great right then so anyway thank you for listening I uh, hope this helped you kind of uh, fix your SRAM X9 shifter. 
Uh, if you have any questions uh, regarding this shifter, uh, please feel free. I'm going to be doing the next video on the left side or the, you know, the uh, nine speed side. So until next time, peace out.